I'm good. I'm good. So <laughs> weird. We just spoke all day. I know, right? <laughs> no, we're keeping this casual. We're keeping this casual. Chill. <laughs> oh. Let's keep it chill. It's, yeah. done. it's done. It's uh, so 2023 just started. How, how, how's your the start to your year going? Fuck that. It's done. It's, it's done. It's done. It's 2023 right. is done. It's finished. Did you look that way. <laughs> the camera was out. 2023 <laughs> is finished. <laughs> okay. 2023 started off with on a couple fronts, just like it's done. Mm-hmm. Like with even mm-hmm. with the pod we work on, yep. which is the MKS podcast. Mm-hmm. Check it out. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we had a, a, a nice sort of like strategy session. Yeah. And it was like, all right, now we do, we're done with like this phase mm-hmm. of putting out content all the time. And yeah. it's, you know, now we're going to head in a new direction. And it's like, all right, it's done. Like, let's head in a new direction. Yeah. And then even with another project that Rennie and I are working on with a, with a, another friend of ours, mm-hmm. it's like another strat day sort of situation. Yeah. We're done with that phase. Now it's like we're ready to start a new thing. Yeah. And this is like three years of working on Blackish. And this is probably the most that's like, <sighs> yeah. Let's start the year off with a, with a, yeah. Not like with a with the, with those other two things. They're exciting because it's like <gasps> like it's like we're about to do some yeah. shit. But this is it's nice to to also start the year off with a <sighs> like a sigh of relief. Cool for sure. And like two, two days, days ago, ago, we had our our meeting yep. for, for the snack yep. for MKS. And like after you know the meeting was done and me and you uh, fixed a couple of things with yep. the with the the project before we we uploaded it. Yeah. Uh, today, which is the day we're filming it, it was like again yeah. exactly what you said. Yeah. Sigh, sigh of relief. Yeah. And, and it was funny because little did we know that the issue that we, we that we were like yeah. sighing off wasn't yeah. actually wasn't fixed. Really, wasn't actually we still fixed. had to fix that today. Yeah. yeah. And well, we came back and was like, <laughs> and oh, that oh, sigh shoot. of relief was more like a, yeah. we did it. Yes. It yeah. was like, oh, like. But yeah, we we shared yeah. that moment after we finished everything. It was just like. Like the hug. Yeah, the yeah, final, yeah. like, oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it was nice. So, Blackish. Finally, Blackish. Finally finished. Yes. Finally finished. It's How do you a, feel about 2023, real quick? I'm I'm feeling good. Yeah. I'm feeling really good, actually, about 2023. I think 2022 was a nice setup. Nice, okay, let me get my pieces in order. Yeah. Let me, let me set some stuff up. Okay, yeah. And now 2023 is like, all right, let's attack. Yeah. Let's, let's. Again, start, yeah, start putting those pieces in motion. Yes. Yeah, I mean, the way I was explaining it for myself mm-hmm. is actually most true for you with Blackish because yeah. it's like not just like, oh, we're done. It's like we're done We're done with just making the music. Yeah. In terms of I'm talking about from your perspective. Sure, yes. You got the whole rest of the business. Oh, 100%. Ahead of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's cool. So, but yeah, Blackish. Yeah, no, like this is the Blackish, I think... Oh, I've had I've had many thoughts about Blackish as it slowly come to an end. Yep. And then we'll go back to the beginning. Yep. But I've had like a thought a couple of days ago about like Blackish is low key like an ode to my uh, a little bit of an ode to my time in America. Yep. For sure. Yeah. It's especially with the features that are yeah. on it uh, and some of the stories. Yep. I tell and even some of the references. I think Blackish is, you know, and it's, this has been an overall theme. It's, yeah. you know, an embodiment of who I am at this moment of time. Yeah. Uh, while, like, my first project, The Culture Black Kid, was, like, at that time in 2018 when I dropped that. Yes. Now Blackish is currently in 2023. Yep. And I think Blackish is the end chapter of Rue, like, the second chapter of Rue. Okay. I think. I think it started. It start uh, the the first chapter of Rue started with A, and it ended with Yara. Yeah, I would say the second chapter started with Mike Breen. Yes, actually, no. Yes, you're correct. Yeah, you, you you're correct. It it started with Culture Black Kid, and then it ended with like uh, So Dark and So Fly. Yeah, and then the second chapter started with Mike Breen. Yeah, and it's ending with Blackish. So yeah. pretty much the Blackish saga. The Blackish saga. Yeah, yeah for sure. It's like the phase. For Blackish sure. is all in that one phase. Yeah, for sure. And I think when my next song comes out in a couple months um that's when phase three mm. will start but i'm Damn. not gonna give too too much away yeah for, for that year. i'm tired bro i know <laughs> i know you, aj just got back from from bangladesh like i'm so tired bro ago. you're talking about the next release ago. yeah go go 
Um, and and that type of time. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. I didn't even think about that time. You've been having meetings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been, like, I'm tired. Yeah, no. I'm physically tired, <laughs> mentally and spiritually tired. No, facts. Yeah. Facts. But, all right, let's bring it back. Mm-hmm. That, that's kind of, like, where my head has been the yeah. past, like I said, past yes. few, uh, few weeks. Yeah, for in sure. The, in the lead up, but... Fuck, that's really nice. That's really nice way yeah. to think about it. Of like, you know, the end of this period. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been a lot of a lot of reflection, a lot of ups, lots of downs. I can mm. say in uh, one in a bill yep. that's led to this, and obviously it started uh, like I mentioned in my freestyle that I put out over your sense uh, senseless beat or yep. three years ago, late twenty nineteen. Mm-hmm. You know, I worked on projects with you before. Yep. We just sort of come off of one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Would come off of the DM season. With the DM season project yeah. volume one. Make sure you go check that out if yeah. you haven't. Um and I was like, all right. The the the, the season was kind of like it was kind of in that uh, in lieu phase where it's like, okay, do we keep working on DMCs and stuff? Or do we yes, kind of yes, yeah. go our own way a yep. little bit? Yeah. And in the middle of that I just jumped out and was like, yo, I've been having this idea of having a project called Blackish yep. that I want to work on. I've been trying to work on it for a, for a little bit of time now. Mm. I'd love for you to, you know, because again, we're on the back of DMC and I'm like, fuck, yeah, I've got to get AJ to, yeah. AJ to, to run it, to run this, run this thing. So we had a meeting outside yep. on, on your coffee table outside your house. Oh, yep. And it was like, okay, what do you, what's your plans? Mm. And I was like, okay. this is such a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I'm, I'm, Having a little bit, it's a little fa- uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. crazy. Trying to as you're as detail. you're saying it, it's like that scene in in Harry Potter with how they have like the, with the water with the water with the pet scene. In, in, in um, in, I think it's like in the second one. No, it's it's in later movies, but it's yeah. yeah. You, you're thinking of the right thing, the little thing, and you he and goes he in, in, he goes ah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm think it's like it's like coming back to me like that. Like it's all like you're like backs in the back in your backyard in the coffee table. I'm like. Whew. You're yep. like getting dropped into yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, the coffee table. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> the lights were on and it was dark outside. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I'm I'm telling you about the project. Yep, yep, yep. And I'm like, yo, I want it to be like 13 tracks. Mm-hmm. I want you to try and produce as much of it as, as much you can. of it as you can. Um obviously I'm gonna hit Rennie yep. for stuff because you know, we know that <laughs> Rennie can Rennie don't play like that, you know. Um, Rennie, yeah, he don't play like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I wasn't sure who I want on the features. I had, you know, I had a doc on my notes about, you know, possible people I want and da 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 da. I'm glad that, you know, a couple of them came through. One of them being Rebels No Savage on One in a Bill. Yeah. Shout out to Evan and, and Basil. Yep. On that. So I'm, I'm really glad that that was one of the features that at the top of the goal, like at the beginning three years ago, that yes. actually came came to fruition yeah but yeah no i pretty much sat down laid it out and you were like okay because this is around the time midnight was like just about to start fresh yeah so you're like okay i'm not even sure was it Rennie there i'm not even sure i'm not even sure if Rennie no let's there. fuck him he just wasn't there <laughs> <laughs> but for the sake of the story he wasn't there i don't think he was there i think yeah. he was speaking on his behalf yeah but because you guys were again it was fresh with midnight and it was like okay we're gonna do this this is how much we're doing for each beat. Because, you know, we're trying to yeah, yeah, treat yeah. this a little more. Oh, he wasn't there for that. He wasn't yeah. there for that. Yeah. It was actually during the it was during the day when we had this conversation. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. remember now. Because yeah. we were talking about the studio as well. Yeah. And yeah. yada, yada, yada. And yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking about the, this is basically what we're going to be able to bring to it. Mm-hmm. And this is like, we're talking about like the, the pricing and mm-hmm. the budgeting and yep. Yep. stuff like that. Yep, I remember yeah. that. He wasn't there for that. No. Yeah. So we went through that. Sorry. I was like. No, fuck Rennie. <laughs> love you ready <laughs> and you know we kind of went over the business the the, the business plan yep. and you know it, it went from there now yep. after we sorted that out the, the 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 payment plan or whatever i was gonna yep. i was gonna implement you know we got to work yep on well it wasn't this a desktop at the time it wasn't even this computer yeah time. true um that computer's retired yeah, no. that's how long it's and been the computer's retired. we the retired the computer <laughs> yeah we the you computer. didn't have the interface. The interface was fucking your own. It was something interface. else. Yeah, yeah. It like, was back before any of this yeah. stuff. Yeah. This whole setup yeah. is literally, apart from maybe the speakers. Yeah. Is is literally all new. Even the stands weren't yeah. there. Yeah, true. Facts. <laughs> that was, this, yeah. this one on the on the on the desk. Um Blackish was so big of a task, I had to get a whole new fucking setup. <laughs> It was so much mature <laughs> to complete. It was this. so hard. 
I had to get a whole entire new setup. <laughs> You're like, all right, I don't think I can fulfill the badge with this this current layout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was a level up. It was a level yes, up. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. For sure. And so, so we, we sat, sat down, down here, we yep. sat at this desk, and yep. we're like, all right, I guess the first place to start is let's just make some beats. Yep. Let's just make as many beats as we can. Yep. And you know, we made we made a lot of beats. We we made a fair few beats. I'd say like for about 10, 15 at like least ideas. ideas. Wow, I don't even remember that many. And like yeah. at least five to seven are on the drive. Oh, you are so right. Yeah. We had so many beats. Yeah, yeah. a lot, lot of A lot ideas. of them didn't make it. Yeah. 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 You're, you only have one song, one beat that ended, yeah, up, true. Actually ended up on the, on the project. <laughs> now, granted, yeah, I yeah. Cut, the, the, cut the track list by three tracks. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, you, you only have <laughs> one, one beat, beat, which is funny. But the, yeah. the, the story behind the beat yeah. and is, is Even really that beat dope. took so long yes. to make. Where, you know, yeah. we had the initial beat and then we finally returned to it. It's like, yeah, Rudy came to me and was like, listen, I have this project and I would love for you to be like a major producer on it and yeah. make a lot of the beats. And I was like, bet. And I was only able to do one song in three years. You made up for it in the, you know, the well, other yeah, yeah, yeah. that we had. To- well, all the <laughs> other beats, I would say, have elements of me in it for sure. Mm-hmm. Because wherever we could, I don't think there's any beats on there where we don't have this full stems. Yeah. So a lot of the arrangement is definitely yeah. wherever I could play, I played. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 So the story behind which the beat that AJ made was all together the intro slash O nine O three nine eight. So technically, I have two so tracks. Two, two tracks, technically. Yeah. Technically, and I mean, you are co producer on like <laughs> yeah, every single uh, track that yeah. <laughs> you, you added your sprinkles to. Yeah. But yes. So I think the dope story behind this track is you know me coming in going, hey, let's sample that one scene from the first Avengers movie. Yep. That was definitely the, that in. was. So exciting because it was we're such fans and geeks about it. We were like, this is such a cool little Easter egg. Yeah. And if we model the song around, you know, the vi- mm-hmm. we, we talked a lot about coming off, starting with that aggressive villainous tone. Yeah. And we, you know, there's even that reference in the song where you just straight up to say, and I'm shit, I'm the villain. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And using like a, a villain, villain theme song or whatever. Mm-hmm. And resamp, repurposing it, like that was definitely something that had me like hooked from the beginning. Yeah. 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 And I think what hooked me was how, again, how we chopped the beat or how you chopped the beat. Yeah. How it's like, I'm really trying to get more into classical sampling and, yep. you know, trying to make that part of my brand. Yeah. Um, really that leading to that culture black kid, uh, Monica. Yeah. And I thought this was the perfect introduction. Yeah. For sure. To it. Yeah. Because, you know, the way you, again, with the Kanye chops. With yeah, the, yeah, yeah. With the, um, da, again, the, the da, 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 with that one. Here. Yeah. <laughs> it's off, it's off, it's off, it's um, off camera, camera, I think. Yeah. But we got the mini. Yeah, yeah. And we're like, okay, that was yeah. super fun. Yeah. And, and how that came together. Even, you know, taking the original sample and using yep. it as like the intro yep. to like lead people in. Now, uh, fun fact, probably number one, is that there was speaking. I, there was a monologue that was over that intro mm, initially. Yeah. And uh, I, th- I, I thought on it, and then I think I decided to take it off because. Yeah. Uh, basically, the initial idea was like using definitions of black and or like like African or something like that. Using As definitions like, of, yeah, like, like we were race. trying to say the message of, basically, we were defining human being, yes. the word human being, As, but yes. we weren't saying human being, definition, yeah. we were saying blackish, definition, and the whole concept was like, I'm just a human being, yes. I'm a human being with multiple, of course, fa- and we used, and we used different mm-hmm. definitions of it as well, yeah. Of like, we're not just one definition of human being. So just to try and represent the idea of humanity into mm-hmm. the project off off the beat. Yeah. And then I think when we laid it down and we played with it, it mm-hmm. just didn't feel right to you. Yeah. It yeah. it like I sat with it for a while. I think yeah. it was like in the past, like four yeah, it was months. there for ages. It was right at the end. Yeah. Of the, of the process. Where I was it was like, right at the end when we were like, let's scrap it. Yeah. 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 Which I'm. I, I guess we'll we'll see. But I'm at the moment. I'm I'm currently like. Yeah, I think I think it was the right move. I think yeah. I'm glad I mean, that we let the <coughs> instrumental sit. Yeah, that's definitely that's that's definitely like a it's it's one of those things where it's like you got to make that creative choice for yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, as a producer of the song and being you know part of the I, I, idea mm-hmm. process, 
I'm obviously very much like if if it's an idea that we came up with, mm -hmm. then I'm obviously very much for it. Yeah. But you as the artist, you know, you have to make that distinction mm -hmm. and be like, look, I just needed to feel 100% yeah. me. Yeah. And this just, you know, it's not necessarily the message. It wasn't mm -hmm. the message, I don't think, or yeah. the metaphor. Yeah. It wasn't the idea that was bad. It was just it's just the way that it was all worded. Yeah. And the literal segment just was like, I, I get the message, but it's yeah. just when I listen to it, the message doesn't come as clear as this other message. Yeah. And, and it's like not wanting to present it to the public where it's like, they might be like, what What do you mean? What are do you, you mean? Are you trying to say this? And yeah, like, yeah. No, no, no. I'm trying to you yeah. know, say this, but you know, it can be convoluted and yeah, I'd yeah, rather yeah. try and be clear, which hopefully the, the outro of 090398 mm. comes out a bit clearer than the the intro which started off as it actually started off as a rap fun fact too we decided to turn it into a poem yep which i wrote which is fun point fact two 2.5 like within the fun fact um shout out to my my friend nasi we went to go thrift shopping one time like around 2019 i asked i think and i was talking to her about you know her background because we're both south african and asking about like her tribal background and she told me and it made me think about my own but i was like wait but i don't have a tribal background so it made me you know i called my mom and was like so what's our like what's our background she was mm. like oh yeah like british like way back mm. so i was like huh and it really you know it goes into that final line of the 093 night where it's like call me uh colored black or blackish mm. just call me rue yeah so like yeah that that really really set off the the tone of the, the project tone, yeah, yeah. For sure. So I'm gl I'm glad I wrote I'm glad I wrote that poem. It might not be the the best thing I write in the uh, in regards to you know maybe on the topic, but mm. in the moment I was really feeling what I felt when I wrote that. You know, thinking yeah, about, you know, I, I definitely think like the outro monologue captured the essence of the project better than the opening monologue. Mm -hmm. I think the opening monologue was just more of an introduction, but the and the closing monologue was definitely the thing that set the tone for the whole project. Yeah. At the end, you know, it was the the final message of uh, no, well, not the final message, the message that then kicked off the rest of. Of course, it set the scene. Yeah, you know, um, and I, again, like I don't want to give too much of too much of it away as mm -hmm. to what you say in that monologue. Yeah, but I would probably say it's some of your best piece of writing for mm -hmm. sure. Just because it's different, it's not just a, it's not just a verse. You know, it's structured yeah. in such a poetic way. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah, it sets the, it sets the tone really well, sets the scene, yeah, and really gives you an idea about like, okay, I see where his head's at. Yeah, you kind of it's kind of like if the whole song was like you being like, I'm the villain. Yeah, that whole message at the end kind of starts to take your mask off a bit. Yeah, and go like he's kind of more of an antihero in the story. Yeah, you know, he's actually it's kind like, of he's the good guy in the yeah, story. Yeah, but everybody just wants to look at him as you know, mm -hmm. as the villain maybe because of the color of his skin. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I think to, to say one one final thing on it before we, we move on to the next segment of the, the track list. Yeah. Is I personally think, and this is, I just thought of this. Yeah. I think this is what I wish I said on how to be black on the culture black, uh, the culture black kid. Mm. I think the culture black kid, uh, um, how to be black is, is a song that I love the song, but I also don't really like the song. I love the idea, but I don't think it was executed as well as it could. Yeah. I think this is a lot better of an execution of thoughts. Yeah in regards to what I was trying to say in regards to, you know, the topic of race and how I feel and yeah. That kind of stuff. Yeah. But next up on, on the track list, we move on to, uh, I want to move on G the G is up and Mike green. Okay. So both produced by Tawanda shout out to Tawanda. He also has a, a another production, uh, producer credit later on thing, but I'll, I'll get to that. Mm -hmm. Um, so the G is up and Mike Breen, the jig is up. There's not much to, to really touch on with the jig is up. Uh, Dope Boom Bap beat. Uh, me and Tawanda made it in our uh, one of our initial sessions we ever had two years ago. And, you know, that's one of those. Uh, if you might know the verse because I've, I'm not going to lie. Anytime someone's like, yo, rap, that's the verse I've used. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so the, that's the jig is up. Now, Mike Breen. Yeah. Mike Green, like you said, is the start of phase phase two, yeah. probably for Rue. Yeah. And again, I remember when I came to you the day that I wrote both the verses. Yeah. And we're in this room. Right here. Yeah. And I was like, bro, 
I have to show you the, this this verse yeah. I wrote. Like the first verse, dope. But the second verse, yeah. Like just wait, just wait till I get to this part. Yeah. And I did it. And as soon as I went the back to back to back, back to back to back, back, to back, to back trips like Phil Jack, and yep. you were like, you react in like too much in the moment. Yeah. But after you were like, bro, like we can't mess this up. Yeah. Like or you were like, I can't mess this up. Yeah, because <laughs> it wasn't the react. I just didn't express the reaction. As soon as you said the line, yeah. like as soon as you went off in that, you know, da, 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 so, da, da, you know, just yeah. that that flow, and then you went back to back to back. Wait, back to you didn't even say wait. You just no. went back to back to back, and you stopped. And I was like, "What's going on?" Like in that moment, yeah. I remember thinking, "Why is he stopping?" Yeah. And then you went back to back to back. I was like, as soon as you did it, I was like, <laughs> "We can't fuck this up." Yeah. We can't fuck. That's that's really good. Yeah. Like we can't. <laughs> yeah. Now it's on me. Like if it comes out shit, yeah. it's not on him. It's on me. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So it it sunk. It was starting to sink in. Then I think I, after that point, I was just quiet. I was mm. just like like waiting for you to finish. Yeah. And then when you finished, like I was fucking. I was like crying. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> we can't miss this. Basically. Up. And then you played it again. And I had to like run out of the room. Yeah. <laughs> and like yeah. I was in my fucking terms. You were like, I'm sorry. Yeah. That was also another moment where it was like. You know, we have something that we kind of haven't done before. It's a new mm. energy. It's really exciting. Mm. And in the moment, it was so much fun. In yeah. the moment, it was so exciting, yeah. you know? Yeah, no, working on Mike Green, Mike Green was really cool. I also like the fact that uh, we were able to drop that on the day that the NBA returned. Yep. Um, on just after the, the pandemic had finished. So it was like a later season start. I think yep. it was on the 23rd of December. It was like around Christmas. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, And shout to... Uh, shy for the artwork he yeah need to come up which is pretty much this similar artwork yeah and now that you just you just i feel like this is the first time you kind of mentioned it but mm. that was another thing that i think contributes to the fact that it was a three year long journey mm -hmm. was covid yes definitely and it, it kind of because it came and then it went and then it came and it was just again. like what do we do yeah yeah. So yeah, no, I, I guess I never thought about that because yeah. I was kind of just taking COVID day by day. Yeah, exactly. And and the pandemic day by yeah. day. Yeah. And listen, all of 2022 was pretty much like going back to normal. Like mm -hmm. COVID was, you know, the impacts of what we were feeling with COVID was left in 2021. You know, mm -hmm. and it felt like we're now kind of back to normal. So we had a year of normalcy while yeah. we we're still working on the project. Yeah. You know. So yeah, no, that, that that's a that's a really good point. That's but yeah, you did point. drop the song right after the first wave of COVID. Yeah. Yeah. So, and we still had the second. Yeah. Second one. Which... And there was an NBA bubble, wasn't it? Like yeah. it was, yeah. It was after the bubble. It was after it was, the bubble. Yeah. Got you, got yeah, you, got yeah. you. So that's like the pocket of, I like to think of that, the pocket of like the hype songs. Yep. So True. we got the intro. Yep. We got the, the hype songs. And now we're going to the, the love songs. Yeah. The True. relationship portion. Yeah. Of the thing, which first, the first two beats is kicked off by I got Rainy. We're going to play like that. Uh, first song, Cash Mooney. I wish he was a character in Blackish. He wasn't. <laughs> but he's not. He's, he's in the Blackish in... cinematic universe. Yes. So for those who don't know. He's in the BCU. <laughs> the Blackish is a <laughs> For those who don't know, the song Cash Mooney is named after a character from one of the spinoffs of Blackish called Gronish in one of the first seasons. Cash Mooney play is like this, the name of this basketball player who plays college and dates uh, Zoe, uh, the character Zoe, who Yara Shahidi plays for for a little bit, and I liked like he's got an interesting name, but I like the idea of playing off the name mm. where it's because he's a basketball player. Yeah, well, at the same time, he was that guy on yes. campus, you know. Yes, and that he was and the that. baller on campus, yes. and the song is really about balling out for your girl. Yes, yeah, and like he's in a relationship with this girl who's kind of materialistic. Yes. And, He's a ball player. He's literally a ball player. Yeah, literally. And yeah, but, and figuratively, he's a baller as well. Yeah. Yeah. So I like this whole double entendre or maybe triple entendre of, you know, using the title of Cash Mooney yep. to be like, and the fact that his name is Cash too. Yeah. Yeah. Ball yeah. out for your partner. Yes. Stuff like that. And at the time, I'm like, who better to get on the song than AJ and Rennie, who are both <laughs> in these committed relationships like I am? And we could uh, all just make it just like a whole like yeah. serenade song to our girl. Yeah. <laughs> of all the things we would buy them yes. if we had money. If we had the money. <laughs> <laughs> Which Listen, <laughs> listen, we don't gotta talk about that, bro. We're good, we're good guys, man. We treat our girls right. It is what it is. <laughs> we don't we're not gonna get into that today. We're not gonna get into that today. You can yeah. ask them. <laughs> that's 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 internalized. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
One day, they, maybe they one can day. do their own podcast yes. episode about that. It's fine. But I Rudy still never think... buys me shit. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, you know, I always love the chemistry that us three, yeah, us three yep. being on a track and that's true fun, too. Yeah, yeah. All su- super fun to to do that track. Yeah. But speaking of you know, bring partners on a song. The next song, date night. Rennie also produced that one, but it's got my girl Shell Tamika on yep. the song. Uh, shout out uh, to my girl. And, you know, I came to her one day and was like, one, I want to do a song about, you know, going on dates. And, yep. You know, I've, 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 ever since Rennie made that beat, I was like, the song has to be about you, you and your girl going on dates. Yeah. Hands down. Uh, like, I don't care. What else? And I was like, you know, why not get my girl who was, a, again, I'll keep saying this, the best R&B singer in Sydney. Yep, I agree. New South Wales. Yep. Possibly Australia. To share the song with, yeah, and talk about you know our experiences yeah. of going on dates and what we do. And I've had the opportunity to mix Mish a few times, maybe two or three times, yes. max, yeah. max three, yeah, but it'll be two at least. Mm-hmm. And she's one of my favorite people to mm-hmm. mix vocals. Actually, three times because she was on my song too. Yes, yeah. yes, on yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, and yeah, her vocals, yeah, just amazing, yeah, incredible, yeah. So I was like, how am I going to pass? Yeah, yeah, pass yeah. This opportunity? It was such a perfect. Yeah, opportunity yeah. that it just made sense. Yeah, and that was that was a fun song to mix. Mm-hmm. But speaking of mixing, that song before that we talked about, Cash yeah. Mooney, yeah. that was so hard to mix. <laughs> if you're talking about, like, the spectrum yeah. of, like, mixing challenges, yeah, I think Cash Mooney might be, like, at the top. Yeah. Like, it's top three, at least. Because yeah. It was just commu- the, the going back and forth between trying to get the right <laughs> stems off of Reynolds. And then the vocals are all over the place, and everyone's vocals are all over. The place who had their vocals right was this guy. Yeah, because you were here. <laughs> I was here doing it. Everybody else, was, I think that was one of the songs that we had to like start really just doing over COVID too. Yeah. So that was the bigger. That was yeah. the biggest thing. Yeah. Uh, it's nothing to do with the people on the song. <laughs> it's all to do with COVID. Randy, we're talking. We're looking at you. I'm looking at you too, <laughs> motherfucker. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> no, it was definitely COVID. It was the COVID of it all. Of like sharing files yeah. and having to wait until you receive files. And it was just like, just wish it was a better way to do all these things. Yeah, facts. Um, <laughs> Easter <laughs> eggs. Easter eggs. Easter eggs. But, you know, yeah, they are on different, they are, they were on different spectrums. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> the one thing that really made the whole experience pleasurable was, yeah, was being able to sort of work, work on those Mish vocals. Because mm-hmm. it was just so clean. Yeah. Yeah, she always, so clean. always comes through. Again, shout out to Shelter Mika. And the third of the, the, the like I said, the relationship section yep. of, of, the, of the project was Greensboro 18, which personally is my favorite track mm. on the project because I think it is, I didn't even approach it as like I was rapping on it. Yep. I approached it literally as I was just having a conversation yep. with you. It was literally telling my experience of, you know, what happened during this time. Now, before... Greensboro 18 comes the track Collateral Damage, which shout out to my guy Donnie, who I was with during that time period. He, uh, me, you, and him all had a conversation where it was kind of like, pretty much sit down, ask, ask questions. Yep. You, 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 you were like, all right, I, I want to know more about this. this, this tell me more about this, this experience. Yep. Like, tell me more about, like, put me in the, the place of what was happening. Yep. Outside of the lyrics that Rua said, yeah, because I need to, I need to be put in this environment, yeah. And Donnie explained it. He broke down, you know, his perspective on yep. it because I only had my perspective, yep. Because um, we were both going through things at the time. Obviously, you'll hear it in the song. And I don't think that was the beginning of it because I think there were other songs, and I'm, I'm kind of jumping around mm-hmm. because I'm thinking of it from the perspective of how we worked on it, yeah. But there were other songs in there that had a story element to it mm-hmm. where we also went through that process again. Yeah. It's like, you know what? Let's just sit and talk for a while mm-hmm. about this song and about this story. Yeah. And Mike Breen was probably one of the first ones mm-hmm. where we had that conversation outside yeah. and, and kind of made me start to realize like, I'm just going to start recording these. Yeah. Cause what if we use it on the actual project mm-hmm. as monologues and yeah. stuff? And that's what we actually ended up doing with Donnie mm-hmm. was like, let me a go through this whole story mm-hmm. I have this idea of you telling your perspective mm-hmm. in the beginning of the song or, you know, you had the idea or whatever it was. Yeah. But instead of just getting him to script something, mm-hmm. let's actually have a FaceTime call for like two hours, yeah. record the entire thing. Yeah. And we did that. 
Yeah. We took the f- the best 10 seconds mm-hmm. and put that in a song. Yeah. We still have the whole conversation. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which you know. Yeah. You know, we might go through <laughs> yep. try and try and find some more yep. nuggets. Yep. But yeah, no. And I, I'm really glad that, you know, you had that foresight to be like, uh, maybe we should start recording, recording these. these. Yeah. Because they could be skits or not skits, but yeah. you know. Pretty much. Elements that, you know, elevates the song a little bit more than just, you know. Yeah. Pressing play on Greensboro 18 and just you just expecting start, yeah. you to still figure it out. Now, obviously, Johnny didn't say exactly, you know, what happened. It was no, still, it still no, no, left no, no. it up to the imagination. But yeah. he added that extra perspective yeah. in collateral damage yes. to, you know, set and, the scene. And that was really good foresight from your end of because mm-hmm. the original song was just Greensboro 18 yeah. and Donnie was the intro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I think splitting it up, what you guys will hear, mm-hmm. is you have the skit, which is Donnie's story, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. And then it, the song starts immediately with you, mm-hmm. with your story. Yeah. So it's like having them split up offers that, like, option. Yeah. You can dive straight into it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And when you listen to it in order, which is how you're supposed to listen to it, please mm-hmm. don't put shit on shuffle. Yeah, no, definitely not. Yeah. It just yeah. goes top to bottom. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's a whole journey. It's a whole journey. Yeah. Yeah. It just it just adds that extra layer of just like, okay, cool. This mm-hmm. is where we are. This is where we're headed. Yeah. yeah. Set, sets the scene For sure. again. For sure. Now, now the, the story, story itself is, uh, and I, I'll save the, the personal stories. If you if you want to hear about it, you're going gonna to hit me up yeah. about it. But basically, the story is about uh, this time in North Carolina when I was on exchange and me and Johnny had to flee the, the town we lived slash studied in, which is Wilmington, North Carolina, inland because uh, Hurricane Florence was going to hit uh, the town. And we were both going through breakups at the time. Mm. And yeah, Aww. that's pretty much all the, all the, <laughs> all the, <laughs> all the, the backgrounds you need to go, uh, need to know. And yeah, pretty much take it from there. Listen to the song. He's going to start and, crying, right? Uh, <laughs> um, fun facts. Yes. Number three is that we sampled Mo. My guy Mo Sos, mm. DC, in this track. It's so small. You won't. And it's so yeah. tucked away. But when I'm talking about Cookout, which is a fast food joint in the US, yep. specifically in the, the South uh, for my American friends, he has a song. The song itself, I'm, I'm blanking on. But the music but video the was... the music video, yeah. he has pretty much the concept of the music video is he's just looping the... Because it's a drive through fast fast food restaurant. And he's just looping it in his right. car. Yep. And he just keeps ordering stuff and throwing the food into the back seat. Is yep. the, whole, the whole concept. Um, sorry, Mo, to spoil the, <laughs> spoil the video. The yeah. um, Watch it anyways, guys. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's, it's a fire music yeah. video. And I wanted to sample where he's like, let me get a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the... At the, at the um, at the the the, the mic, what, yep, what do you yep. call it? The drive through mic. Yeah, yeah. mic. The drive through yeah. window, yeah. And we put that like really yeah. low under when I talk so about. So you could hear him in the background being like, "Let me get a." Yeah. <laughs> so Mo, when you when you when you see this, when you listen to the project, that's you. We, we sampled you. Sorry, we didn't let you. Know. <laughs> shit. We didn't clear that please shit. Don't, please don't sue. He's gonna take that shit down. Oh no. <laughs> Edit. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, fun fact. Fun fact three. Yeah. Again, shout out to Wanda. Uh, who produced it? Uh, Shell also added her vocals on the back end of the song. Hey. Yeah, no, fire. Absolutely fire. Technically yeah. three and a half, then. Yeah. If you count that. Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. Yeah. So, yeah, I- I'm, I'm going to leave it there with Blackish. That's the end of the love section, which leads into our final, the final section, the yep. la- uh, final two songs yep. of the project, which is both produced by this uh, producer I found on YouTube. AJ. Go <laughs> stream Blackish 27th. Uh, it's out now. It's, yes, it's out now. It's out now. <laughs> no, on continue. The 27th. Um, uh, by this producer named uh, Dilly Got a Bumpin, who I just found, you know, just digging in the internet crates. Yeah. For for the YouTube crates for for beats, uh, which I'm trying to do less and less. But at the time, you know, I was still doing, still doing a lot more. Yep. And you know, I came across this guy. Really soulful stuff, mm. super soulful stuff. Yeah, and I remember I heard that beat because he, he, you know, if you sub to him, he, you know, adds you to an email list, and then you know, a lot of producers 
do yeah, that. Yeah. But there was one in particular that he he made, and I chucked on. And then after I heard it, I paused it, I bounced it, I put it on my my laptop, and then I took a shower. And then in the shower, it might have been like top three, like the quickest. Mm. My rap is coming to me. Oh, right, right, right. And I was right. in the shower. I was like, not a single bad vibe. And I can't fuck up my face. Face with that. Bitch. And like, yeah, yeah, I wrote like at least four to six bars in my head. Yeah, yeah. Maybe even eight. Yeah. Like the first. The half of the song, half, yeah. Not even half. No, because it's a long verse. Sure, sure, sure. Um, like the first eight bars in my head. Yeah. In the shower before. And I'm like, oh, shit. I was yeah. like, get out the shower now. You're going to write this yeah. right now. Right now. Yep, yep, yep. So. I loved that, you know, how I wrote the verse just came. Instantly. Instantly. It's, yep. It was such an easy writing process to that beat. Yeah, supernatural. Yeah. Yep. And then after that, I was like, not I want this to be a posse track, but this is the one. And I've been saying to myself since I met, again, shout out to my guys, Rebels No Savage, Evan and Basil, yep. that I've been wanting to work with these guys since I met them in 2018 when I was in North Carolina. <clears throat> yeah, and you said in the beginning yeah. as well about wanting them as mm -hmm. your potential dream feature list, yeah. like them being on the on the project. Yeah. So it just was like, again, like the, the writing was natural. Yeah. And then you go, wait, if this is the ensemble cast... Mm -hmm. That's where I put these guys in. Yeah. It was just a natural sort of yeah. way of thinking. And then them actually being on the song and, you know, working with us on it. Yeah. Was again, like, not as natural, mm -hmm. but Evan and Basil were yeah. very, very natural. Yes. You know? Yeah. And they could, like, I, I've been holding my cards close to my chest with the, the RNS. Yeah. Like, to, to play it. Like, was this song? No. Is yeah. this the song? No. So when I was like, final, finally pulled the trigger and yeah. then was like, boom. This is where I dropped Rebels No Savage. This is yeah. where they feature on it as separate artists. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no, well, oh, they're gonna be joined. Yeah, they're you, gonna be. They're gonna be as it's... Rebels No Savage. Yes. yes. Yep. That's what it I was... meant. That's what I said. <laughs> well, fun fact: I was I was initially just gonna get Evan on the track, yep. but he was like, "Yo, I showed this to Basil. Yeah. He he bucks with it heavy. Yeah, he yeah, wants yeah. To jump on. I'm like, you know what? Please, just bring, just bring everyone. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Screw it. Like, yeah. I'm 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 keen to have you both on. Basil yep. sent his stuff the next day, and I'm like, yo, like. <laughs> Let's do I, got, it. I got a fucking Rebel Hose Savage feature. Yeah, this yeah. is crazy. This is crazy. And then the other feature is my guy, guy Mo. Mo Sos. We have a couple tracks yep. on the Culture Black Kid, like three. Yeah. And you know, oh, we also got, uh, got a track on SoundCloud that was going to be on So Dark and So Fly. Nice. But someone already had the beat, so we had to make it like a mixtapey, Lucy. Got that you. We put out called EGM, and that was really fun. I worked on him with that when I went back to North Carolina in. 2019 2020 mm -hmm. back when black issue just started and yeah you went for like a yeah i went for a holiday yeah and getting the mo feature was a, was a little it was a little tougher it just took ages and it, it wasn't even yeah. on him like no. it was he did he had the feature he had the the verse ready it was just yeah. again corona and like yeah. being being in different parts of the world definitely that was just one of the links that was mm -hmm. just tough it just was tough to get yeah. you know and then by the time we got it it was like <clears throat> already processed mm -hmm. so and and i'm very particular about those kind of things mm -hmm. and um i knew he was particular about it as well so yeah. it was one of those and yeah and so i had to process, exactly yeah. so i had to just sort of make it work it wasn't like yeah. i could just say can you send it yeah unprocessed or can you send it the way that works best for me mm -hmm. you know we had agreed that he was going to send it the way that works best for him yeah and i'm going to make it work so yeah. i just had to make it work yeah i hope hope hope, hope you like it yes <laughs> yes hope you like bro, it, I, I really hope you like it um I'm going to put a, a smidge of your business out as well. Um, I'm really snitching on you today. Um, uh, and this is hopefully fun fact five, I think. Yeah. The verse that he wrote for One in a Bill. Yep. Got him out of a slump, a songwriter's slump. Oh, Hence. okay. Yep. And, you know, well, I was I was messaging him again about, hey, man, would, is it possible you can send the, the verse within the next month? He's like, you know, like my writing, like I haven't, I haven't been the, have, having the best time writing yep. recently. I'm not sure I will be able to get it to you by in that time, you know, uh, but we'll see. And I'm like, you know, what? it's like totally fine. No yep. rush. Yep. Like, you know, write it when you're ready. Yeah. Like, because I knew the Blackish, the project at that time, like, it's was not still... like we're dropping yeah. in a week. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 It's like, we got time. You got time. So still when we had two years left. Yes. <laughs> this is yeah. the first of the two, of the three years. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And then he sends it to me the next day. Yeah. He's like, yo, I don't know what, like. But, you know, I just started writing. Yeah. And he ended up writing the whole verse. And I'm yeah. like, bro, you didn't have to do that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I was happy to give you as much time as you needed. But yeah. I'm so glad that, 
you know, this verse got you out of it. Out of that. Yeah. And, you know, since then he's put out like again, two more projects, yeah. full body projects. He's he has a goal this year to put out a single every single Friday. Jeez. Every single Friday of the year. That's crazy. Like, yeah. It's all thanks to Blackish. <laughs> Thank you, Blackish. Is that Spider-Man, bro? <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you, Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So no, but mom, I'm, I'm glad that I'm like, glad Blackish helps you my, so much, bro. I enjoy. just hope Blackish has the same impact on so many other people as it did on you, Mo. We love you. Uh, but no, I, I know what you're saying for yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, uh, that is that is really cool. Like, yeah. yeah, that's a really cool goal. Yeah. It's fucking yeah. insane, so, dude. So I'm I'm glad that you know I was able to to bring a, a song to the table that. You know, maybe it's not the the best verse you've ever you've ever written when you when you look back. But you, it was one that made all the difference that, in the world. Yeah, and you know, allowed you to. It's fine. It's all you, bro. It's all you. Allowed you to you know keep writing the dope stuff. Yeah, and for sure. The dope content that you you keep coming up with. So, you know, again, shout out to Mo, shout out to Rebels and Savage, and yep. Basil, Fire, and that leaves with the final track. Yeah. Which is me and you. And oh yeah. You know, that, that's that's what we asked. Is it really? To come up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I pretty much wanted to approach this song, also another Dilly Beat, with, you know, basically just my writing process and just, again, if I started with my mental, with, you know, the whole concept of Blackish yep. at the start of the project, yep. I'm ending it with this is my process of my music mm -hmm. at the end. It's, it's no surprise to anyone who is in it and, you know, even not in it, but the music industry is pretty tough. It's extremely what? tough to, it's tough to break into. What are you talking world. about? Um, with, you know, your peers and, you know, the, the, all the industry stuff and whatever. And, you know, it can be a little tough, you know, being one that, you know, is still on, uh, the come up yep. and seeing peers that, you know, you, you're friends with and seeing them get more gigs or yep. more airtime, more radio play, more, yeah. uh, publicity on, on, uh, Spotify's and Apple music's and whatever, yeah, it's with anything and like when something's tough and you see somebody doing better, doing better yeah. that's an instant feeling of like. Is it as tough as it is? Sorry, is it as tough for them as it is for me? Yeah. Or am I just struggling? Like, why am I struggling? Yeah. But they're winning. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, I always like to, in, in times of I need to, to balance myself out, go back to thinking about J. Cole, because he is my favorite artist, your favorite artist, if you mm -hmm. haven't checked out our episode on the Midnight Stag podcast. Check it out. Me and, me and AJ pretty much. A history of J. Cole. History of J. Cole. Just search a history of J. Cole on Spotify. Yeah. It should pop up. Yeah. We, we nerd out about J. Cole for two episodes. Yep. Two whole episodes. You know, I always go back to J. Cole. His yep. first project was called The Come Up. Yep. I referenced the first half of my, or first quarter or half of my verse, my first verse, referencing him. Yep. Um, and his, his story of how he, you know, waited outside Rock Nation, the, the, the trials and tribulations he went through. And, you know, thinking back to myself about, you know, I mean, might be in a similar situation where I was when he was in 2007 and trying to prove myself to people who the, the naysayers or who I think I need to break through or really prove it to. Yep. And, you know, I think the cool thing, and maybe you could touch on it more, is, you know, I said my little part, eight bars, and then when I showed you the song, I, I, on the end of my first verse, and you, I showed you the song and you were like, because I initially didn't have you on the song. Mm -hmm. I had the first verse and the second verse, and you were like, bro, let get me, get me on, on the, the song. song. Yep. Because I want to not tell the story of you, but tell the story of what I've seen yep. from when we first met in high school, yep. when we first started working on music. Mm -hmm. And like I said, you you can you could elaborate more on that, how you approach it. You so this it's interesting because you're saying the last act of Blackish started with you listening to Wayne Bill, mm -hmm. and it just came to you. Yeah, that was my moment for the come up. Mm -hmm. So it ended with me having that same moment right. when you were showing me that verse. Yeah. Of when you were showing it, I was just like, oh, it's all coming to me in my head. Mm -hmm. Like, it would be so cool if I could tell that same sort of story from where I'm sitting. Yeah. Having seen you come up yeah. this far, at least. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it was like, it was like, you know how you said it came to you in the shower. You know, mm -hmm. for me, that was the shower. That right. was. That was your equivalent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like I was showering in front of you. It's crazy. Edit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it was like it was just like okay yeah. yep this is this is making sense <laughs> and yeah. even in that moment i don't think i knew um i was gonna write the verse the way i wrote it mm -hmm. 
Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think what inspired me the most was the last eight bars. Mm-hmm. That's why it's up right now, 3 a.m. Yeah. 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 That's why I'm up right now, 3 a.m. You know, yeah. that was what got me the most. And I think that was one of the big selling points of why I was like, hey, get me on the song. Mm-hmm. Get me on the song if you can. Yeah. And, you know, at, at the end, obviously, I'm glad that I got you on the song. Yeah. And, you know, I've, I've said it over, over numerous things that you've, you've been my mentor for, you know, since I, we met in high school. So, you know, it was only fitting that if there was someone to tell a story about, you know, my come up so far, yeah. that it would be the guy who has helped me mm. to get to this point. Yeah. And I like those last eight bars so much. Yeah. I just didn't change it. Yeah. I just, like, I, I'm just going to say the same yeah. thing. I'm yeah. just, I just write eight bars. Yeah. And keep it. Yeah. Yeah. So, because I think that was the other thing that yeah. that that really inspired me as well. Because in the song, you mentioned you referenced a conversation that me and you had mm-hmm. about maybe Mike Breen. Yeah. So we're working on Mike Breen, or we're mm-hmm. working on Blackish. Yeah. And you're coming to me with all these ideas, and I just said, "Yeah, you gotta chill out." Yeah. You know, like, don't yeah. d- don't stress out. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. Ideas are coming. You know, mm-hmm. so just start just start working. That's yeah. all. <laughs> and I think being able to tell that because in the in the in your verse you say uh, my my homies say I'm all in my head, mm-hmm. and being able to be the homie that actually and in the song is able to say I told him he was on his head yeah was a cool moment yeah. for me you know yeah it's like a full like yeah. 360 yeah. yeah 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 so yeah I I I think it was a perfect let's get some rest of the, the to topics it was like I have so many yeah. topics I don't know which one to choose yeah for sure so I was like just sleep yeah just, just rest <laughs> just rest and the topics and, will come and, yeah and yeah. you know. Topics did come around. Topics came around. And Blackish is Blackish is out. Finished. Yeah. It's out right now yep. on all, all your all your DSPs. So I give a quick, you know, shout out to the artwork in the back uh, in the back. It's done by me. Those are my hands. Those are your hands on my face? Yes. A couple of my face. Then whose hands are that in the in the back? Listen, artwork? listen. Is that Rennie's hands? That's me I also. When'd you paint your nails? Huh? What'd you what when you paint your nails? What color are they? I don't know. What color do you like painting your nails? Brown. Oh. That's not brown. That's I think it's red. Never mind. I didn't do the artwork, guys. <laughs> I didn't, it wasn't me in the artwork. <laughs> shout out to shout out to the uh, to the homie you one day who took these amazing photos. Uh, we did a photo shoot last year, and I <laughs> I was trying to fight for for another another photo from the from the photo shoot, and she was like, "No, like honestly, you got to do this. You, you got to you got to you do got to do the hand ones. They're powerful. They're super powerful." I was like, "Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what what you're seeing." And she was like, no, trust me, trust me. I, I showed Mish and uh, I showed Shell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she was like, you want this right? Like, yeah. they're, they're powerful. And I'm like, yeah. I'm, st- I'm starting to see it. <laughs> uh, I'm starting to see it. I came back to you one day. I'm like, yeah. you're right. These are super powerful images. And I love it. I, I love how they turned out. Shout out to Rennie or Rennie Prince, technically, on, you know, doing the adding, adding the touch-ups, the Rue logo, who, you know, I've had since the beginning of phase two yeah. of Rue. Uh, have you ever noticed the signet before? The what? The signet on the bottom right? Yeah. Yeah. The stamp. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so for those who don't know, and it's on uh, the two singles I put out last year, Kobe Year and I Never, me and Rennie came up with this this whole signet stamp to add into, to again, lead into the culture black kid thing. If you don't know what a signet is, it's like this old school like stamp to like... like seal signature. a letter. Yeah, like, or like not, to, not a signature, but like a... To seal a letter. Oh, yeah, to seal. To yeah. seal a letter. Yeah. So I was like... I think that would be a cool, cool addition. I like that Rennie put it in purple. I didn't expect him to put it in purple. Mm. He just sent it to me, and I was like, no, I like purple, because, you know, purple is the color of royalty. Yeah. And, you know, kind of leads into the Black Panther colors a little bit as well. Mm. So, yeah. And then the back artwork, uh, the, the writing's really small on the side, and, yeah, I just I just love how they came out. Shout out to you one day. Took amazing photos. Whose hands are those, by the way? Which ones? The ones on the back cover. So the bottom ones are me. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the the main the hands uh, that are in in the front one and the bottom ones is Shell's hands, and the top ones are my hands. Oh, she's so just going like this. And I'm just, yeah. Oh, it looks like it looks like someone else. Yeah, hands. it looks like there's multiple yeah, exactly. hands. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Fun fact six. <laughs> nice. Yeah, no. Shout out to you one day. Took amazing photos. You know, make sure you hit her up. Uh, Wiz Fizz. I'll, I'll put it in the description of whatever. <laughs> wherever this is. <laughs> wherever up. this is going on. Everywhere. And and uh, Rainy Prince for you know adding the final touches. To the artwork again. Shout out to you, executive producer. Thank you. Thank of you. the project. Three years. Three years in the making. Long, long, long. But it's done. It's done. Again, we can, like we said at the start. Yeah, for sure, for sure. No, I appreciate um, that. Shout out to you as yeah. well for completing it and <laughs> Thank you. carrying it to the end. Thank you. Thank After you. three years. Yeah, for sure. Is there? 
to, to close out, do you think there's one lesson you've learned? Like, what's what, what's what's maybe the biggest lesson you've learned from the process of working on on Blackish? Definitely, um, if you're gonna get stem sent to you at 48k, make sure you convert it back to 44.1k hertz. Because if you don't, later in the masters. It might cause some drama and some oh, trouble. That's, so funny. That's, that's, one, that's one quick story. That's one final quick story. And um, <laughs> no, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> There's so many different lessons to be learned from this from this entire project. Yeah. But you touched on it a little bit. One thing that well, you touched on the fact that I don't even have the same setup as I did when I first started mm. uh, working on on Blackish. Mm -hmm. So I guess the biggest lesson for me was definitely like I didn't even really think about that mm -hmm. didn't really think about the technical stuff mm -hmm. the am i what you're using what i'm using yeah, what setup, i started yeah. with was the bare 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 bones mm -hmm. of yeah. what you can get yeah right and it's stuff that you've like and it's stuff that i made the made, dm season yeah. stuff work DM through season, right possible other pro like other projects that you've everything on. after that yeah it was like when i just took my eyes off of can i do this am i going to be able to do mm -hmm. this do i have the equipment for it it just all happened. Yeah. It it just happened by itself. Yeah. You know, so the biggest lesson that I take from that is just if you have an idea, you just have to go out there and just do it. As yeah. corny and, you know, cheesy as, as many times as yeah. you've heard it, that's just how you're gonna get anything mm -hmm. done. Yeah. It's just to start doing it. Yeah. And then worry about the rest, the production and, and all of that later. Just focus on the good ideas. And mm -hmm. I think Every bit where we had an idea that was a good idea, we really just honed in on. Mm -hmm. And then the tech just followed. Yeah. The tech just came with it, you know? Yeah. So yeah, for yeah. sure. Just just uh focus on focus on your ideas and mm -hmm. and obsess over them. Yeah. And you'll just if you just keep chipping at it yeah. day by day, three years later you'll have something amazing. Yeah, facts. Like you don't need to have like the most state of the art studio to make something great. No. Like you know, it's nice and you know you just have to have the idea and the willpower that's yeah. it yeah and you know blackish was made in this room yeah the whole of blackish over the whole 3 year period yep as well as countless other every dope yeah every bit of it art. every bit of it was all converted to 44.1k hertz in this room <laughs> every single bit of audio uh, you know what ask, ask us about that off 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 mic if, yeah. if you want to know more about that story <laughs> that's that's such a funny <laughs> situation um i think what i took and it's also a very corny cliche thing yeah. <laughs> to take away from is patience yeah is patience i know that i'm i can be a, a very patient person but deep down sorry i'm I also laugh. i'm also not a very patient person yeah i'm i'm patient as in like at the end of the day i yeah. will be patient yeah, yeah but in the moment yeah. i can be very impatient antsy about yeah things i feel the same way but i won't ask. about me yeah yeah so there has been so many times during this process, and it's not even COVID. Yeah. It's been like, oh, like the songs are take, taking so long to finish. Mm. Oh, like I still got to get features. Mm. Oh, like, you know. These mixes are taking so long. Yeah. AJ's wanting to add more to this beat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought the beat was finished. Nope. Um, oh, 0903, oh, no, no, it's not going to, we got to remake the beat. <laughs> yeah. Now we got to remake the whole beat. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Adrian wants to test out FL Studio. <laughs> yeah. That was like a year and a half after yeah. being in the project. Yeah. Yeah. But it's trust the process. Yeah. For real. Because if you just trust the process, trust who's, you know, the creative hands that you are putting it in, mm. it will get done. Yeah. And it will get done exactly how you want it. Yeah. Maybe it might not be the vision that you see at the start. Yeah. It might not be, you know, I envisioned 13 tracks. We ended up doing 10 We tracks. ended up doing 10. A lot yeah. of the features that I didn't envision... Yep. Didn't really make it, but you know, I still ended up to have a lot of the beats know. that we were making in the beginning never made yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, at the end of the day, we still dropped yep. a project that we can be they proud call of. Call yours. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. That we can that can be proud of. And, yeah. and you know, not one that I will be like I, I drop it, I promote it, and then I'll be like, you know, I don't really return to that yeah. one. Or I you know, I don't really perform that track because yeah, yeah. you know, I'm not sure how I actually feel about it. It's yeah. one that I'm like, oh no, Mike Green's on the yeah. That's on the bill. Yeah. At least for the next, you know, until yeah. I get to that, you know, yeah. next stage. Yeah, it's definitely it's a good way to put yeah. with I think it's a good way to say I'm going to end this phase of my life. Yeah. Because it was so long, because you had to be so patient, because mm -hmm. you had to work through so much of it. Yeah. It was like you've earned the chance to say, now I get to jump off and do bigger things. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, I do hope, like, I know you, you say Mike Breen and stuff and songs like Greensboro 18 hold a mm. really close place in your heart. Mm. But I do hope that now you can start one-upping even those of because course. they were such, you know, for us personally, even for me, it was such a big feat yeah. to make this project. Like, yeah. it's a good thing to have on my resume is in, front, in, in terms of, like, look at the feat that we were able to accomplish. Mm-hmm. Um, I hope that this is just the beginning for you. For sure. For sure. And I, I, I really hope so. I really hope so too. And I, I know it. And, yeah. and, and, you know, I hope that, you know, as, as well for you and, you know, any, any other further exec stuff you do, I know you've got other projects to, to, to work on yeah. uh, outside, but, you know, Easter eggs, um, you know, it's only the beginning. Only the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, and, for sure. You know, this is another step yeah. to, towards yeah. ultimate goals. Yeah, for sure. That we both, that we yep. both have. So again, thank you. Thank the long you. journey. It has been a long journey. Make sure you go stream Blackish out now on all DSPs. And I've been I've been Rue. <laughs> yeah. I've been Rue. I got the culture black kid. Got- I'm AJ, but this is about Rudy. <laughs> Rudy Rudy Connor Holbeck. Let's put that out project. there. But yeah, congratulations, Rue. Thank you. Really proud of you. Thank you. And uh to Infinity and Beyond. Yes. I don't know why I said that. No, I don't know. I don't want to get sued by this. Yes, yeah, stupid <laughs> way right. to say. Cut it down. Peace.